What's up guys, Warning one back with more Universe Mode and welcome to another edition of Monday Night Raw as War. We're going to be kicking off tonight's show with the Hardcore Championship on the line. Vader taking on Jeff Hardy, we've just seen Edge now come to the ring. I'm not quite sure what that's about but I guess Edge is going to be paying close attention to this match. But anyway, we're underway, Jeff Hardy, Vader. Vader with the early advantage of a big chopped Jeff Hardy. Irish whip. And knocking Jeff Hardy down with a huge clothesline. But anyway, guys, like I was saying, welcome back to another edition of Rora's Walk. If you're new to the series, then welcome. Or if you're coming back, then hopefully you guys will remember the stories that we've got going on currently. I'll quickly rewind you all back to last week. It was Vader taking on Bradshaw for the Harkle title, which Vader successfully retained. But then after the match, as Vader was celebrating, young Jeff Hardy came in and attacked Vader from behind with a ladder of all things. But unfortunately for Jeff Hardy, he hit a twist of fate on him, but went for the Swanton Bomb. But Vader, there's no keeping this big behemoth down. He was up to his feet in a matter of seconds and toppled the ladder over, followed up by a big power bomb on the ladder. And Vader left championship intact. Vader has been champion now since Bad Blood after attacking Mosh after the match. I mean Mosh actually hasn't had his rematch yet but I'm sure Mosh will be getting that sometime down the line. Either way Jeff Hardy of course won half of the Hardy Boys multiple time WWE Tag Team Champions and I'm sure Jeff is definitely one of the most extreme wrestlers we've got on the roster so Jeff Hardy is definitely going to be giving Vader a run for his money. Huge size difference, you've got Jeff Hardy, who's probably somewhere around the £200 mark. Vader, obviously, you're looking at probably nearly £500. So, a very big size difference, but somehow, someway, Jeff Hardy early on. Big drop kick. Oh, but like I was saying, guys, Vader is a huge man. It takes a lot to take the big man off his feet, and even that drop kick off the springboard manoeuvre was not enough. Vader back in control, throwing Hardy onto the ring apron. What's he going to go for? Club to the chest, Hardy dropping face first onto the mat. There is protection on the mat, but not a whole lot. So Jeff is not going to be feeling very good into the barricade. Oh, misses the clothesline though, Jeff Hardy taking advantage, locking that arm up. Oh, big spike, DDT, knocking the big man onto the floor. Jeff Hardy now with the Hardcore Championship. The championship he's hoping to be leaving with tonight in a big belt shot to Vader. Not quite sure I saw a drop of blood. It's possible, but anyway, Jeff Hardy, more weapons in hand with the mop. A couple of shots, but he misses the second one. Vader fighting back. Big punch into the headlock. Huge suplex, nearly hitting the still steps. It's possible Hardy's knee did just clip over him. So Jeff Hardy is not going to be walking too well. Followed up by a backdrop. Jeff Hardy's neck. Definitely not looking too good. A lot of these moves on the outside of the ring. Like I said, guys, there is padding. But there's not a hell of a lot of it. So any move is still going to hurt 10 times more than they would inside the ring. And it looks like we could be going back in the ring any second as Vader has just thrown that big mop in there. Oh, but Jeff Hardy fighting back once again with a big clothesline at the blocks. Push Invader away. Bulldog onto the floor. I think I saw a ladder on the left side of the screen. Maybe the ladder is going to be coming to play sometime soon. We've actually got quite an extreme night on Raw tonight, guys. We've only got three matches, but we've got three slightly longer than average matches, but three classic matches nonetheless. Of course, you're watching now the Hardcore Championship. Vader take on Jeff Hardy. We've also got that huge Rora's War versus ECW Challenge. So we're going to be seeing who you guys chose coming up. As I'm saying that, Vader. Going for a power bomb with Jeff Hardy with the arm drag out of it. And last but not least, guys, we have got a huge main event. It's going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin facing The Undertaker in a steel cage match as decided by you the viewers if we go back to it last week one last time it was Undertaker taking on Stone Cold an epic back and forth match just when we thought we were getting somewhere in regards to a winner 
Stone Cold dropped outside the ring. Security came out of nowhere and escorted Stone Cold Steve Austin from the building. So Stone Cold was basically counted out. But The Undertaker was left in the ring and we thought maybe The Undertaker was behind it at first. But then it turned out The Rock attacking the dead man from behind. And it all but confirmed The Rock and Vincent Mann were behind both the attack and the arrest of Stone Cold Steve Austin. So that match is going to be a rematch tonight. This time inside a steel cage and the winner of that match is going to be facing the WWF champion at the upcoming Armageddon pay-per-view. Back into the match show, Jeff Hardy. Fans behind him. Hardy on the top rope. What is he going to be going for? Big crossbody. Not going for the pin though. Vader in trouble. Vader's been champion now for only a few weeks since Bad Blood. So if Jeff Hardy defeats Vader tonight. Not exactly going to be a long title reign. But nevertheless we will see. Vader outside the ring trying to get away from Jeff Hardy. But Jeff Hardy not having it. Off the top rope going for some kind of springboard hurricanrana. But it wasn't to be. The big man quite agile for a man of his size. Out of the way. Big backdrop onto Hardy. His head once again bouncing off the floor. And now... Vader with Jeff Hardy's signature weapon in hand, the ladder. We saw that last week. Unfortunately, it didn't exactly go too well for Jeff Hardy. But maybe tonight things will be different. Look at Vader showing no care for the referee, throwing that ladder. Who cares about the referee in Vader's mind? Vader still lies in charge. A few punches to Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy could be in trouble, but suddenly from nowhere fighting back. Now throwing the big man back into the ring. It's only a matter of time until this match is over. They've been going at it for a good five minutes, maybe a little bit more. Hardcore action at its best. Jeff Hardy, the wake up taunt. Twister fate time, maybe on the trash can again. Nope, Vader throwing Jeff Hardy away. Big German suplex. Jeff Hardy, look at Ragdoll, bouncing all over the ring. And Vader once again, weapon in hand. He is the hardcore champion after all. Big mop shot to Jeff Hardy, but Jeff back to his feet. Probably not for too long though. Oh, but Jeff fighting back, leans a gooey kick. Oh, but Vader again, showing his strength. Throwing Jeff Hardy off into the ropes. But Jeff Hardy with an amazing counter. Into a whisper in the wind. And we could be seeing a new hardcore champion. Jeff Hardy again, signature ladder in hand. Taking Vader down once again. And it could be time, guys. Are we going to be seeing a Swanton Bomb? Maybe in a minute. Not just yet, though. Vader fighting back once again. Throwing Hardy into the corner. Are we going to see a huge behemoth splash? Nearly. Jeff Hardy out the way. Into a twist of fate on the trash can. EC dub. EC dub. Jeff Hardy climbing the ladder. This can only mean one thing, Swanton Bomb. Oh, but Vader again, just like last week, will not stay down. Jeff Hardy again failing to connect. Vader climbing the ladder. Oh, I didn't think that was a good idea for Vader. Jeff Hardy on top. Swanton Bomb off the ladder. Into the pin. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a brand new WWF Hardcore Champion, Jeff Hardy. And I'm sure this is going to mean there's going to be a lot of extreme matches coming up. But, oh, I nearly forgot about Edge. She was watching that match into the spear, into the ring. Keep in mind the 24-7 rule. One, two, three. And after one spear, Edge has ruined Jeff Hardy's title win. And Edge is our brand new WWF Hardcore Champion. I did wonder why Edge was watching the match, but now it all makes sense. His best friend Christian, tag team partner, into the ring to celebrate. What a great night for Edge and Christian, but hang on. Oh, Christian hitting the unprettier on his tag team partner. One, two, three. Classic WWF Hardcore title 24 7 action, guys. Christian defeating his best friend and tag team partner Edge. Not quite sure what this means, but I guess we're going to be finding out. Nevertheless, Christian ending tonight the WWF Hardcore Champion. Back into the car parking area and Vince McMahon arriving at the arena. Alone, I might add, we already heard earlier on today that he was giving The Rock the night off. So we're not going to be seeing from the great one tonight. 
But we're going to move into the next match. As you saw by the graphic, it's going to be WWF's Eddie Guerrero taking on ECW's Rhino, as decided by you guys. And this match is going to carry on the WWF ECW feud. Eddie Guerrero with a nice hurricane early on. This is the first time we're going to be seeing Rhino on Raw as War. ECW once again returned last week, kicking off with an amazing first show. So if you guys missed that show, you can go back in my recent uploads and take a look. It's definitely been one of my best episodes so far. Nevertheless, though, Rhino throwing Eddie onto the ropes. I do want to point out this match is going to be Extreme Rules and the WWF ECW food is going to be continuing for a little while yet. So every week, at least for the next several weeks, we're going to be having some kind of ECW challenge. Or should I say Raw as War 2 ECW challenge. Sort of like this one. So we're going to be seeing plenty of inter-brand warfare. And hopefully plenty of cool extreme matches. Eddie Guerrero. Big drop kick. Sending the man beast into the turnbuckle. Like I said this match is extreme rules. We haven't seen any weapons come to play just yet. Oh, Rhino, too quick for Eddie. Pulling Eddie off. Big kick to the gut. Oh, and Eddie being sent straight into the steel steps. I think I just saw a table then, just off the screen. So hopefully a table is going to come into play. We know the fans absolutely love tables. But Rhino again taking Eddie to school with them steel steps. This is a continuation of the Jericho-Eddie feud. I won't go back through all of it. But if we remember back on week one... Chris Jericho won that European Championship. Eddie had a couple of failed attempts at getting the Championship, so we gave Eddie one final chance to win the European Championship at the Bad Blood pay-per-view about a month ago. It's kind of a strange one. Chris Jericho walked into the pay-per-view as a huge fan favourite. The fans absolutely adored him. And Eddie was from the hill, but week by week the fans have been getting behind Eddie. When, from nowhere, Chris Jericho announced he was going to be leaving Raw and head into the return in ECW and the fans did not like it or at least the Raw fans didn't like it so Eddie was immediately cheered over Jericho Jericho acting the hill and unlucky for Jericho not only did he lose the fan support that night Eddie went on to defeat Jericho in that cage and Eddie was of course crowned the brand new European champion on Jericho's last night on Raw I asked you the viewers who you wanted to see face Jericho in his final Raw match and once again, you guys wanted to see Eddie versus Jericho. They've obviously impressed you guys with the feud so far and the matches they've been having. So anyway, we had Eddie versus Jericho one final time. Despite being attacked pre-match by Rhino, Eddie Guerrero found a way to defeat Jericho using a bit of dodgy tactics of a low blow and a roll-up. But nevertheless, Eddie Guerrero retained and Eddie Guerrero is still the European champion. But after the match, Raven came out and attacked Eddie as well. So Eddie Guerrero is definitely a huge part of this ECW Raw feud. And guys, I can exclusively reveal, as decided by you the viewers on last week's edition of ECW, I asked you all who you wanted to see from Raw go over to face Chris Jericho on ECW. And once again, you guys have picked Latino Heat Eddie Guerrero. So coming up on ECW in the next couple of days, we're going to be having Jericho Eddie one more time, as decided by you the viewer. But Rhino's looking pretty good in the match today. But Eddie looking slightly better with that tornado backbreaker. Vintage Eddie Guerrero. It's going to be wake up taunt time. We're going to be looking for probably a brain buster. Nope, off the ropes. Springboard DDT. Not quite hitting that chair. Very close indeed though. One, two. The Man Beast again kicking out on a long two count. But Eddie's still fighting. Oh, reverse wide right into the Manhattan drop. Eddie's family jewels absolutely crushed by the Man Beast. Followed up by a few clubbing punches to the face of Guerrero. And Rhino bringing the extreme over to Raw. Steel chair in hand. Oh, big steel chair shot to the back and spine of Eddie Guerrero. Latino Heat not looking good. This is Raw versus ECW in a non-title match. I probably should have said at the start of the match. So Eddie Guerrero's European Championship is not on the line. But Eddie picking. Oh, low blow. 
into the roll-up, just like we saw in the feet Jericho with last week. Is he going to get it again? One, two, three. No. Unlike Jericho, Rhino kicking out of Latino Heat cheating combination. Rhino still steps in hand. This is not going to be good for Eddie. Oh, Eddie though. Power shown by Latino Heat, the European champion, with a huge shot to Rhino. Rhino stuck under the still steps. Latino Heat again with a nice chair shot. If you're a fan of my universe mode last season on WWE 12, then you guys will already know that Eddie Guerrero that time was on ECW. So Eddie is no stranger to extreme. Man be slow, probably slightly more extreme than Guerrero. With that big bear hug on Eddie. Eddie though, finding his way out of it. DDT onto the steel steps, I believe. Latino Heat, again with a wake up taunt. What's Rhino going to turn into? I think Eddie was going for his three amigos, but oh, Rhino. What a combination. Taking Eddie down once again. Suplex. Oh, reverse suplex. Eddie's face and chest bouncing off that steel chair. Rhino, former ECW champion. Former ECW television champion. The future is definitely bright for Rhino on ECW. But Eddie not giving in. Vintage Latino Heat. Springboard manoeuvre. But Rhino again fighting back. Kicking Eddie away. Irish whip. Big power slam. And it looks like Eddie grows definitely tiring. The end could be near for Latino Heat. Rhino strategically placing that chair down. And oh, spine buster on the steel chair. And I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a gore any second. Rhino going for the gore. Oh, but Eddie reverses it into the DDT on the steel chair. Eddie with speed. Gory bomb. Latino heat getting extreme. The table finally coming into play. The end could be near. Rhino being placed on that table. Latino heat back in control. The European champion looks like he's going to be going top rope. Taunting to the fans. He is. Eddie Guerrero going for the top rope. Going for a frog splash. Latino Heat. But Rhino too quick. Going to counter Eddie. But Eddie with another counter. What's he going for? Hurricanrana onto Rhino. No, Rhino. What a reversal. Into the powerbomb through the table. Holy crap. Powerbomb on Eddie Guerrero through the table. Rhino into the cover. One. Two. Three. And a gigantic win. For ECW's Rhino defeating the WWF's European Champion. What a huge victory for Rhino and a huge victory for ECW. That feud will continue though. We're going to go backstage. Baruch and Bradshaw having a nice cosy beer. Mark Henry and D'Lo Brown of the Nation of Domination coming in. I'm not quite sure what's going on there guys. But Nation of Domination getting on the wrong side of the APA. And we'll keep an eye on where that feud goes. Main event time already. This is going to be a steel cage match for the number one contender for the Rock's WWF Championship. The winner of this match is going to be facing the Rock at the upcoming Armageddon pay-per-view. Indeed, for Rock's WWF Championship. So this match is huge. If I quickly remind you all what happened last week, it was again Undertaker vs Stone Cold Steve Austin in the main event. Again, for the number one contendership. After an amazing back and forth match, from nowhere security came out and either arrested or just took Stone Cold away from the arena that left Undertaker in the ring who we thought could possibly be behind it all but it turned out the person behind it was The Rock and Vince McMahon and The Rock ending up attacking Deadman from behind and leaving the dead man a heap on the floor and he was about to go even further and damage the Undertaker's leg if it wasn't for Kane making the save only God knows the damage that Rock would have done to the Undertaker so because we had no winner in that match that is why we're having the rematch tonight and you the viewers decided this match type I left it completely up to you guys and the majority of you wanted a cage match so because this is the most viewer interactive universe mode on all of YouTube 
that's exactly what I've given you guys. It is a cage match, and hopefully it's going to be as good a match as last week. Stone Cold and Undertaker so far, back and forth, back and forth. These two are no strangers to each other in the universe mode or in real life. They've had many, many classic matches over the years, and I'm sure this one is going to be no different. Stone Cold don't go in top rope. Don't see that too often. Going for the double axe handle. Undertaker though reverses it into a big clothesline, taking Austin down. Remember guys, The Rock was given the night off. So we're not going to be seeing any Rock in this match. So hopefully there's going to be no interruption and we will finally find out who the number one contender for the WWE Championship is. As The Undertaker is sent into the still and we are seeing some blood. Stone Cold like a shark. Straight after it. Big knee to the head. Working on the wound of the Undertaker. Austin showing the dead man exactly what he thinks of him. A couple of middle fingers picking the dead man to his feet. And it's going to be a signature move time. Austin with the pile driver. Another bit of breaking news I'm just hearing in my ear. Last week when Stone Cold destroyed the Rock's limousine or at least we thought it was the Rock's limousine but I'm actually hearing now the limousine was not the Rock's it was actually Vince McMahon and Vince McMahon was livid and I'm hearing also that Vince McMahon has said that Stone Cold Steve Austin will never again become WWF champion over his dead body so it's going to be very interesting to see whether Stone Cold Steve Austin Vince McMahon feud goes but nevertheless Undertaker Going for old school, but Stone Cold with a nice counter, sending the dead man to the mat. Irish whip. Lufez press. Vintage Austin, middle fingers into the drop. Wake up taunt time. This is not going to be good for the dead man. Stunner time, nope. Undertaker dodges it. Spin Stone Cold around and again Austin thrown once more into the still. Austin bleeding just as is Undertaker. These two men leaving all in the ring, leaving all on the line to become the number one contender for Rock's WWF Championship. For the fourth time in a row. Undertaker throwing Austin into that still. It's going to be a wake up taunt time. We're going to be seeing a choke slam, maybe. He hits it. Choke slam on Stone Cold Steve Austin. Middle of the ring. One. Two. Oh, Austin kicks out at two. Undertaker, though, not wasting any time. Straight back onto work on Austin. Austin, a bloody mess in the corner. Undertaker with a couple of big shots. All but Austin reverses the third one. Sending the Undertaker into the corner. A big kick. Vintage Austin. Stomping the life out of Undertaker. And once again, Sherman Deadman exactly what he thinks of him. Last week, Stone Cold vowed to be the next WWF champion. And as it looks now, Stone Cold could be the next challenger to The Rock. Big spike DDT. Sending the Undertaker's face to the mat. Both men exhausted in the ring. Both men have lost so much blood. And again, Undertaker into the corner. In the tree of woe. What has Stone Cold got in mind for the dead man? Not quite sure because the Undertaker with an amazing counter. Another clothesline sending Austin down. Undertaker going top rope. Are we going to see Undertaker's classic clothesline? Yes, we are. Undertaker connects. Vintage Undertaker. Wake up taunt time, the dead man signalling the end is near. The end could be here, but nope, Stone Cold reversing the tombstone. Into that arm breaker, sending the dead man again face first to the mat. Picks him back up, going for the stunner. Oh, Stone Cold stunner on Undertaker. This match could be over. It looks like it's going to be The Rock taking on Stone Cold Steve Austin Armageddon. What the hell? Vince McMahon's music and Titan Tron's playing distracting Stone Cold. 
Stone Cold not going for the pin. Where is Vince McMahon? Or is this just a plan to distract Stone Cold? Remember, Vince McMahon vowed Stone Cold will never again be WWF Champion. Stone Cold in the ring still waiting for Vince to appear. But The Undertaker back to his feet. Stone Cold turns around into a huge choke slam. No, Stone Cold fighting back out of the choke slam. Stone Cold Stunner. A big one at that. Into the pin. One, two, three. And Stone Cold Steve Austin has defeated the Phenom, The Undertaker. And it's going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin taking on the rock. But, oh, Vince McMahon again. Finally coming out. Vince telling Stone Cold what he thinks of him. This night is not over. It is going to be Vader taking on Stone Cold Steve Austin. Irish whip by the 500 pounder with a huge clothesline. Austin has already been for a grueling match with The Undertaker. Austin is the number one contender though. But Vince McMahon just abusing his power with one more match. Oh, but Stone Cold, stunner out of nowhere. Vader falling down like a sack of you know what. Austin into the cover. One, two, three. Well, Vince McMahon's plan has backfired. Vince McMahon sent his latest henchman, Vader, into the ring to destroy and destroy Austin. Well, that plan has backfired in less than 60 seconds. Stone Cold Steve Austin with a second consecutive victory. And it is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, Armageddon. Stone Cold Steve Austin facing and challenging the WWF champion, The Rock. Armageddon coming up in just a few weeks. And guys, that brings us to an end of another edition of Universe Mode and an end to another edition of Monday Night Raw as War. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the show. We had multiple brand new hardcore champions. We continued the WWF versus ECW feud. And in the main event, as you guys just saw, despite the distraction by Vince McMahon, Stone Cold Steve Austin defeating The Undertaker and at Armageddon in just a few weeks, it is going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin challenging WWF Champion The Rock in what I'm sure is going to be the match of the century. But just like every episode of Universe Mode, we're going to end this on the viewers' choices for next week. Viewers' choice number one, as we saw on tonight's show, the hardcore division is all over the place and there's been multiple new champions. So next week on Raw, we need to find out who really deserves to be the hardcore champion and who really is the most hardcore of them all. So next week, we're going to be having a five-man championship scramble for Christian's Hardcore Championship and the four challengers are going to be decided by you guys. So viewer choice number one is going to be four challengers to face Christian next week in a Hardcore Championship Scramble match. Viewer choice number two, like I said to you guys before, we're going to be continuing the WWF versus ECW feud and hopefully as the weeks go on, take it to that next level. But next week, just like this week, I want you guys to pick an ECW superstar to come over and face a Raw superstar, but unlike this time where it was Eddie Guerrero, this time I'm leaving the match entirely up to you guys. Let me know a WWF versus ECW match you guys want to see. I want you guys to pick both the WWF guy and the ECW guy. And as we found out tonight, it's going to be The Rock and Stone Cold at Armageddon. Vince gave The Rock tonight off. But next week, The Rock is going to return and we're going to get some Stone Cold Steve Austin Rock interaction back on. So in next week's main event, it's going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin and a tag team partner chosen by you guys taking on The Rock and a tag team partner chosen by you guys. So we need a tag team partner for both The Rock and also Stone Cold Steve Austin. So very quickly, recap the viewers' choices for you guys, which you can let me know down below in the comment section below. Let me know four challenges for Christian's Hardcore Championship. Let me know a WWF versus ECW match you guys want to see. It can be either tag team or single. And in next week's main event, the third viewer's choice, we need a tag team partner for both The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's about it as far as this episode goes. As always, I really hope you guys found it entertaining. If you did enjoy it and found it entertaining, then please support the content by leaving the video a like and also being interactive, taking part in the viewers' choices and just give me some general feedback on the episode. In the next few days, you can expect ECW and also SmackDown. 
and you can stay up to date on when I'm going to be uploading those videos if you follow me on Twitter at 101gaming. But until next time guys, this has been 101. You've been watching the most viewer interactive universe mode on YouTube and I'll see you all on the next episode.